Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how to make this super easy little crocheted clam. He pops in and out of his shell and it's just a cute, fun, easy crochet project. To make this little clam, you will just need to know how to chain, single crochet, slip stitch, and do the decrease stitch, which I will explain in this video. To make this clam, I used worsted weight yarn and you'll need it in a tan, a cream or a white, and then a peach color for the clam. I used a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle, some 12 millimeter safety eyes, black embroidery floss for the smile and eyebrows, sharp scissors of course, and then a very small amount of polyfill stuffing for stuffing the clam. First we will make the outer shell piece, so for that I'm going to chain two and then do six single crochet into the first chain that I made. You could also do a magic ring and work six single crochet into your magic ring. There are now six stitches around. For round two, I'm going to do two single crochet into each of these six single crochet stitches, or six increased stitches, for a total of 12 stitches in the round. There are now 12 stitches around. For round three, I'm going to single crochet one and then two, two single crochet together in the next stitch and then single crochet one, two single crochet in the next stitch all the way around until I have 18 total stitches. So one single crochet and then two single crochet together in that next stitch, which is also called an increase stitch, and then go on to one single crochet two single crochet, and so on. There are now 18 stitches around, and for round four, I'm going to single crochet two, and then do two single crochet together in this stitch, and continue around for a total of 24 stitches. There are now 24 stitches around. For round 5, I'm going to single crochet 3 and then do 2 single crochet stitches together and continue around until I have 30 total stitches. There are now 30 stitches around, and for round 6, I'm going to do single crochet 4, and then do 2 single crochet together in the next stitch, single crochet 4, 2 single crochet, and so on, for a total of 36 stitches in the round. There are now 36 stitches around, and for round 7, I'm going to single crochet 17, and then do 2 single crochet in the next stitch, and repeat this 2 times for a total of 38 stitches around. There are now 38 stitches around, and for the final round of the outer shell, you will just single crochet one in each stitch around, or a total of 38 stitches around.
Now that this first outer shell is finished, wait to fasten off because you're going to be crocheting it to the inner shell. The inner shell is made almost exactly the same as the outer shell, but I'll go ahead and show you each step for this first inner shell piece. So first chain two and then six single crochet in the first chain that you made. There are now six stitches around and for round two you'll do two single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches in the round. There are now 12 stitches around and for round three you'll single crochet one, do two single crochet together in the next stitch and repeat this around for 18 total stitches. There are now 18 stitches around and for round four we're going to single crochet two and then do two single crochet stitches together in the next stitch and repeat this all the way around until we have a total of 24 stitches in the round. There are now 24 stitches around and for round five we'll single crochet three and then do two single crochet in the next stitch and repeat this six times around for a total of 30 stitches. There are now 30 stitches around. So for round six, we're gonna do single crochet four and then two single crochet together in the next stitch and repeat this six times around for a total of 36 stitches in the round. There are now 36 stitches around and for the final round of the inner shell, you will single crochet 17 and then do two single crochet in the next stitch and repeat this two times for a total of 38 stitches. Now that I've finished round seven, I'm gonna fasten off and you can just leave a super short tail for weaving in. Now go ahead and make a second one of these inner shells. To join the outer shell and inner shell of the clam, put the two insides together and match up the two spots where you fastened off just so that uneven spot is in the same place. Then insert your hook into this stitch where you finished on the outer shell and then into the next stitch here and then into a stitch on this inner shell and single crochet these two pieces together just like that. Now that you're almost all the way back around to where you started, tuck these two little yarn tails inside the shell to hide them. And you'll weave this one in after you're done crocheting. Okay, now that you're back to where you started, do a slip stitch to join. and then fasten off, leaving a long yarn tail for sewing. Okay, now repeat this with your other outer and inner shells until you have two shells 
that look like this. We'll now sew these together. So I went ahead and weaved in the yarn tail from this outer shell because you'll just need the one for sewing them together. Now when sewing them together, just position them here, again with the two spots where you fastened off together to hide them when you're sewing them. And then just do several whip stitches to attach these together. So I did about five whip stitches on this side and then I'm going to weave my yarn tail through the inside of the shell like this over to the other side and do a couple whip stitches on that side just to neaten up that edge. Then I'm going to do a knot to secure these stitches and weave the yarn tail inside the shell. Okay, now your clam shell is finished and ready for the clam. For the clam, we're going to start the same way that we did with the shell by chaining two and doing six single crochet in the first chain that you made or doing a magic ring and working six single crochet into your ring. There are now six stitches around and for the next round we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches in the round. There are now 12 stitches around and for round three I'm going to single crochet three and then do two single crochet together in the next stitch and repeat this three times around for a total of 15 stitches in the round. There are now 15 stitches around and for round four I'm going to single crochet four and then do two single crochet together in the next stitch and repeat this three times around for a total of 18 stitches in the round. There are now 18 stitches around. For round five, I will single crochet five and then do two single crochet in the next stitch and repeat this three times around for a total of 21 stitches in the round. I now have 21 stitches around and for the next three rounds, I'm going to do one single crochet in each single crochet stitch around or 21 stitches around for three total rounds. Now that I've finished three rounds of 21, I'm going to do my first decrease round. So for this round, I'm going to single crochet five and then decrease one and repeat this three times for a total of 18 stitches around. So I'm going to single crochet five and then for a single crochet decrease stitch, I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn under and pull through, insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn under and pull through, then yarn under and pull through all three loops on the hook.
There are now 18 stitches around, and for the next round, I'm going to single crochet one, decrease one, and repeat this six times around for a total of 12 stitches in the round. Okay, so now that I have 12 stitches around, I'm going to pause to insert the safety eyes. I'm using 12 millimeter safety eyes and I'm going to insert them between rounds 7 and 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. I'm going to insert the other eye three stitches over. 1, 2, 3, so right here. And you should have three stitches in between the two eyes. Then go ahead and secure the backs of the eyes. And now I'm going to sew on the mouth and the eyebrows. For the mouth, I'm going to use a strand of black embroidery floss. But instead of using the full thickness of it, I'm going to pull it apart into half and only use half of the original strand so for a more delicate look. Insert the floss through the opening at the bottom of the clam and out between the eyes, leaving a beginning tail for securing with a knot later. Then do a stitch that's two stitches wide and bring your needle up one round lower. Now you can see that I made this at the bottom edge here between the eyes. Then you're gonna grab that first stitch with your needle and go back into the same spot. And pull into a little V shape. Next, I'm going to bring the floss up one round above the eyes and sew one tiny eyebrow above each eye. Then bring the needle out back at the opening and secure with a knot to the beginning end of the floss. Now I'm going to start the last round of the clam. For the last round, you will decrease six times. I'm going to do three of these decrease stitches and then pause to begin stuffing. You want to add enough stuffing so the clam holds its ball shape but is still squishy. Okay, and then finish up by doing three more decrease stitches. Then fasten off and leave a yarn tail for sewing. At this point, you can see if you want to add more stuffing to your clam or if you're happy with it. It's squishiness. I'm going to add just a teeny tiny bit more. Now that I'm happy with how well he's stuffed, I'm going to thread the yarn tail onto my yarn needle. And I'm going to insert it through the front loops of these remaining six stitches around. And then I'm going to pull tight to close up the clam and secure that with a knot. Now your little clam is finished. It's time to put him in his home. Thank you so much for joining me in making this little clam. You can find the full free written pattern for this clam on my website, TresasCrochetShop.com. I will link to that in the description below. Happy crocheting!